In our next step, we need to convert the file that we created from Photoshop and all the images we exported into a Dreamweaver file. I started Dreamweaver and I'm creating a new site. So I'm in the site setup for Pacheco and I've found my images folder that I created in my last step. I'm not going to worry about making it export to the internet right now, so I'm not going to set up servers. So I'm going to hit done and I now have a new site And I'm going to create File, New, and I want a blank page, and I'm going to make this HTML, and I want my styles to be a new file. And I'm going to start with a two-column layout, even though this is actually going to be a one-column layout, because I don't have an option for a one-column, but I can change it real quickly. So I'm going to hit Create. This is my CSS file. I generally call my style sheet just styles.css. And here I have my blank sheet. I'm going to go in, I'm going to save this as main template because I'm going to create a template with it when I'm done. And then I'm going to go directly into the styles and I want to work in code view. I'm going to go through and set pretty much everything I want. Now color, if you'll remember, actually represents the font color. So I want my font color to stay as black. I want my background to be black. I'll go ahead and show this a split. You aren't really going to see that here, but if I go to the design view, now I've got the background as black. I'm going to go back to split view. Um, I'll let Brandon set those. I know his design does not have the tags on that you're going to see. I'm moving my property bar. I'll bring it back if I use it. Over here, we're getting rid of these. Um, I'm going to leave the headings here. And again, I generally delete the comments. I've read these before. I delete them as I go through, just as my little checkbox to make sure that everything that I want to change is being changed. AM, the anchor image, we don't want a border. I'm going to leave these pretty much all at the defaults. Brandon can go ahead and change those later. Fixed width. Brandon made his a different size. So we actually need to open up Photoshop. We need to click here. We need to choose image image size and his is 1024 by 768. Well we're going to need to match that. Now remember this portion if we choose our slice select tool this one is 219 by 548. So we're going to need to worry about the whole thing. So image image size 1024 by 768. Normally I recommend a width of 960. This is fine. He did it because he wanted to be able to scale down. We're just going to leave it the way he had it. And I have a really pro big problem with short term memory. Image size width 1024. Okay. So we're going to set width to 1024. And we're going to set the background back to zero. You aren't really going to see the background, but it usually flashes for a fraction of a second while it loads, and when it does that, I want it to load in black. I'm going to get rid of my comments here, comments here, header background, I want that to be black again. So that's black. Again, I you should, if you're doing this the first time, take the time to read all these comments, and if you use them, leave them. Now, I don't want a sidebar. Um, I'm going to change my width here to 100. I think I'm actually going to set my width to, yeah, I'm going to set my width to 100%. It's going to float right. That's fine. Header, that's fine. And now I've got this stuff hanging out here that I'm going to have to get rid of because I got rid of the um, CSS that defines it. So I'm not going to need these. I'll delete those in a minute. Content UL, content OL. I'm going to leave the defaults for that. Um, 
I don't need any of the nav UL because we're not using their nav. We're using all buttons. I try not to have stuff that I don't actually use. I cut off more than I intended to there. Or maybe not enough. I want all of the nav. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of all of the nav stuff because I'm not using their nav bars. We're going to create our own navigation. Um, he doesn't actually use a footer, so we're going to get rid of the footer. And that's it, cleaning up the CSS. Now i got to clear up the HTML because he still has text in here. So I'm going to go to the source code. We'll go ahead and give him a title. Brandon. And we're going to leave in the script. We're going to start in the body. We do want a container. We do want a header. We're going to get rid of the contents of the header, though. So we want to go all the way down to closing the that we don't have a sidebar. Okay, let's see where we're starting for this. We want to be careful not to delete too much. So I have my opening and closing header. I will put stuff in here. I don't want the sidebar at all, so I'm going to delete that, and that should clean that up a bit. Um, my article class content, I want the whole article because we're going to use that. And we want to close the content. There we go, end content article. So we want to delete that, cleans that out. And then we don't need anything in the footer. And then that ends the container. So now I have a blank black screen. Now I'm done working with code. I'm going to go into design view. Now what you can't see, and I'll move it on screen so you can, is that I'm going to expand my CSS styles. Um, I don't want a background for the body. I'm going to start by working with the content area, and I want my background here to be an image. So I'm going to find my image, which should be background. I'm going to hit OK, background repeat, no repeat. Um, I don't want any padding on this because I want that image to fill the background. And I'm going to hit Apply. I'm going to hit OK. Ah, I need a minimum height here. So I need to go back and look in my Photoshop file. Background should be 548. Perfect. So in my content box, height should be 548. There we go. That looks great. Okay, that's all I need for that portion of the background. And I do like to test after each section. So I'm going to choose File, Save All. And to test, I'm going to hit F12 on my keyboard. Now I'm working in a really old version of IE. I have to allow the block content. And there I have a nice background. And when I stretch it out, it is framed by black, which is exactly what Brandon wants. But again, you do want to get in the habit of testing each thing that you do. Okay, my next step is to go into my header. And actually, I'm just going to start inserting things in here. So in the header, the first thing I need to insert is an image. And what I want here is my logo. Um, I can put an alternate text, logo. Um, I don't remember what Brandon's company is, but you would put in the full thing. You're going to hit OK. Now, I do want this logo to actually be a link, which means I'm going to need to go into my properties bar, and I'm going to make the link of the logo. The logo should always link to your home page, which should always be index.html. Now, I have not created these files yet, so I, when I do create them, I want to make sure that I'm using a standard naming pattern here. On the index, it's critical that it's lowercase. Then I'm going to insert an image object, a rollover image, and I'm going to find my I'm going to cheat and look at my Photoshop file because I can't remember what order it's in. Okay, he wants his bio first. So bio up, bio down, image, bio. Alternate text should be very meaningful because it's used by search en engines. So it's going to be Brandon's biography. 
just because there's millions of biographies on there. It really should be Brandon Pacheco's biography because there's probably lots of Brandons out there too. So it should be Brandon, well, I'll let him put it in later. I, I don't think I spell his last name right. So Brandon's biography. And the URL is also meaningful for search engine op optimization. So it should be Brandon dash Pacheco, which I'm not going to try and spell, dash biography. And then get in the habit, whatever you're naming, and I use HTML. I don't care if you use HTM or HTML. I care if you're consistent. Do the same thing all the time. So I'm going to put that in. And then I'm going to insert... image object, rollover image. Next one is portfolio. Portfolio up. Portfolio down. Alternate text. Brandon's portfolio. Brandon portfolio dot HTML. And then we'll keep going with the next one, which is resume. Insert image object, rollover image, browse, resume up, resume down, name it resume, randoms resume, Brandon dash resume. Dot com, uh, not com, dot HTML. Something to remember here is these are all going to be locally in my exact same file folder. Um, if I were not doing it that way, then I would have to put in the whole HTTPS address. And so his last one is contact. I am working on two screens here, which I recommend if you can do it. That lets me keep his Photoshop file up, so I've got something to refer back to, which I do all the time. Contact up. Contact down. Brandon. Now, the alternate text serves two purposes. It is a tooltip in some browsers where if you hover your mouse over, you'll see it. And it works for browsers for the blind. Okay. Oh, I have an issue here. This did not come in perfectly. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to bring up my properties window, and usually this means I'm off by a pixel somewhere, um, and I will usually just fix that. I can look at this two ways. I'm going to split. I'm going to look at my code and make sure I don't accidentally have any spaces in here, width 201, height 219. Let's just see if I tweak this by one. Nope, that didn't do it. And usually I'll just play with moving one pixel off of each if it's not. There we go. So I was two pixels off somewhere. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but I don't like readjusting photos in here. But if it's less than a pixel, I don't mind. That's not going to be a big change in time. So I'm going to choose File, Save All. And then if I hit F12, Allow block content, yes. And I have this nicely working. Um, in the next steps, we'll create a template, and then we'll create editable areas, and we'll work on moving forward with this. If Brandon lets me, I will continue uh, taking his website into a full implementation with the exception of content to show you guys how it's done.